what a year, right? We're only in July, so uh, there's a lot that's happened from the quarantine to the social injustices, and I hope that you are doing as well as can be, and I hope that you remember you create your heaven or hell um, in this moment by your mind, and I think that's where the virtual book club comes into play. Thank you so much for the posts, the discussions, and really just the open dialogue. Um, I think we are in a trying time on top of a trying time. School is about to start, and so there's some anxiety around that as well, what that's going to look like. Uh, for me personally, it kind of begs the question, can we fill that gap that we already know that was there, right? Or are we gonna be putting ourselves in another position where we're leaving um, a vulnerable population at risk? So our first book of the Virtual Book Club is one called Choose Wonder Over Worry. This book is by Amber Ray. I would recommend picking up a journal so that way you can answer some of the prompts that are in here or even keep notes, things to refer back to later. And there's gonna be a couple ways that you can participate in the virtual book club. Of course, you can buy the physical book if you don't want to buy the book on Amazon or through your preferred book um, retailer. You're more than welcome to listen to the audio recordings that I'll be posting of each chapter online as well. Um, and again, the name of the book is Choose Wonder over Worry by Amber Ray. Depending on how much engagement we get, we may set up a Zoom call or just keep it to the thread discussion where we talk about uh, what we've read and the applications that may be there. Obviously, you have to be able to tolerate my voice um, in the event that you don't want to buy the book because I will be reading it. Unless I get some volunteers that maybe want to read the chapter, um, we kind of rotate it. <laughs> Without further ado, here we go. Let's be real. Life is filled with twists and turns, fears and doubts, messy and magical moments. Without a rule book for how to thrive in today's world, it leaves many of us feeling all the feels without having a clear sense of direction. Whether you hate your work and are wondering WTF to do with your life or building the dream but still feel stifled by fear and doubt or know there's more to life but don't know where to start, Choose Wonder Over Worry will guide you to face your fears and unlock your gifts no matter what's standing in the way. Inside, you'll learn one, how to overcome the habit we spend the majority of our time on worrying. Two, how to navigate fear, self-doubt, imposter syndrome, perfectionism, and all the feels. Three, advice on how to bounce back from rejection and critics. And four, a fail-proof way to tame your inner critic and access your inner wisdom. No one is perfect. This journey is messy and wherever you are, you are not alone. Wonder or worry, which will you choose? So this is just a summary of the book. The book is broken down into three parts. You have part one, the two voices. You have part two, the worry myths. And then you have part three, the union. Next week, I'll post part one. Um, we can uh, check back in through discussion or even a Zoom about how we're feeling about this book. Will we Do we have any other recommendations? Um, I'm always up for talking about some of the stuff that I'm reading because I know there's a ton of other perspectives. Each one of us are unique and individual in our own specific wonderful way. I think it's always really cool to get multiple opinions. I know that my train of thinking isn't the only way of thinking and so I welcome the discussion.